Okay, y'all, here we are again. Uh, this is Kate and Alice and I, and we are taking part in the plowing demonstration at the Mule Jamboree. Uh, it's, uh, there's a spot right through here, right where I just went through, that was real muddy and was holding a lot of water. And in this ground down here in this bottom, it's pretty rocky. Uh, of course, in this part of the country, I'm told by a lot of the old timers that this part of Kentucky is pretty rocky anyway. Uh, but anyhow, there were some rocks here. Y'all can see standing water. We've had some rain. Uh, it was hard in places like right here. See the plow riding up. It was really hard right through there. And, you know, Lord knows what has been done to the ground over the years through here uh, with construction and everything else. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all a little bit of my walking plow and uh, Kate and Alice. Now, Kate and Alice have spent way more time in the woods than they have on the farm doing farm chores such as plowing and whatnot, uh, but they took to it pretty good. This is their second time plowing, and you know, so far they're doing as good as I could ask of them. Now, normally I don't plow with the lines around my waist or back, I guess you could say, uh, but I know several guys that do, so I wanted to try it just to see how I liked it, uh, because normally I plow with them up uh, around my shoulder, and you'll see in the next little clip how I do it. Uh, but I tried it this way, and you can get a little bit more power as far as holding back on them if you need to hold them back. That's one plus to it. Uh, now, for safety purposes, if you put them over your shoulders, if something happened and your mule team got spooked or whatever, you could just duck out from under the line. And, you know, they could go ahead on and not drag you. This particular way, I guess it would be possible for you to get drug, I suppose. Now, for some reason beyond my knowing, uh, when I would get down here to the end, my mules wouldn't want to quite turn around toward that fence like they normally would. And I'm not sure if it's just because they were lazy and want to go to the trailer or if it was something going on over there. But one thing I have learned over the years, y'all, is you need to pay attention to your team. Sometimes they're just goofing and then sometimes they're trying to tell you something. So, you know, you need to pay attention. And I really don't know, I didn't take the time. We didn't do enough plowing here in this little area to really learn what was going on. Uh, they could have been something going on there at that fence that they just didn't care for, or it just could have been the fact that they wanted to go to the trailer. Uh, I don't blame them. It was a little bit nasty. But anyway, uh, we had a good time uh, plowing and uh, just, you know, being with everybody there, uh, that pair of mules that you just saw uh, that came to the end, that was Mr. Stanley Browning and two mare mules he had consigned to the sale. Uh, so it's a pretty neat ordeal, y'all. Uh, you know, if the weather would have been better, we could have did a little bit more. That patch of grass out there in the background behind me, they did a little bit of mowing. Of course, the mowers was, the mowers was starting to plug up a little and it just makes it hard going when it's real wet. It don't really make a big difference when we're plowing and y'all can see right here you know through here it's a wet area and watch kate there kate hadn't been around water much and she's going shy at it a little she's hubbing up on alice you know she's worried to death about it and like i say y'all my mules ain't broke to death they're just three years old and they're still learning uh there's still things that scare them here and there but you know for a pair of three-year-olds i'm mighty proud of them they suit me real good and they're getting along all right we just got to do more of this kind of stuff and the more we do the better they'll get it's just time y'all the more time you put into a team the better they get but look here watch alice there walking through that water the furrow was filling up down here in this bottom uh it was filling up with water as you know every time i made a round look out look at it sloshing there you can plow through it and it ain't a big deal and there's some places where you about have to plow you know in conditions like this to get the plow in the ground uh, I don't think this type of ground really mattered much one way or the other. Uh, but if you're on a time constraint, you know, you got to get it done if that's what you're doing all your farming with. But anyway, I just wanted to capture this little bit for y'all so y'all could see what was going on. And I also want to say thank you to Mr. Tim Fleming and also Mr. Ron Christensen, uh, some of our viewers that uh, sought us out here at the Mule Jam. We got to meet in person. That was awesome. I love meeting y'all and hearing from y'all comments and all that good stuff. So thank y'all and thank y'all for watching. Take care.